Aloha, I'm here at the Hawaii Coffee Company at the Lion Cafe. Let's go get some brew and get educated. Aloha, I'm Lanai with Cooking Hawaiian Style and Hawaii.com TV in the heart of Honolulu in Kalihi here at the Hawaii Coffee Company Tasting Room. And I have Courtney with me and she's going to show us how to do a cold brew today. But something very special before we get into that, we're using a, a huge antioxidant, a coffee bean, and uh, this is what it looks like. You guys call it a... Cherry. Coffee cherry, yes. Uh -huh. And what's inside of this? So when we open the coffee cherries up, it produces these little coffee beans, and they're kind of like a greenish tint. So it's kind of like a coconut, but when this is ripe, it'll turn red, right? right? What do we need to create this cold brew? So for our uh, toddy, we're going to be using um, this nice maker. It has uh, one for the lid for our one pound of water okay. and our container so that we can hold our one pound of coffee. All right. And then we're going to have our filter to make sure that none of the grinds in the coffee get through. Okay. Um, and then our rubber stopper to not make sure, make sure it doesn't leak. Okay. We also have our filter to put the coffee in and this is to help pack in the coffee so it's nice and tight. All right. And how long is this going to sit? About 20 to 24 hours. All right. And what kind of coffee are we going to use today? Today we're going to be using our Lion Pure Choice French Roast. Um, it's a nice dark flavored coffee, so it gives a nice robust taste. All right, so you kind of assembled this uh, maker here, and uh, you put some coffee in, you're going to finish up putting more coffee in there. Right, I'm going to finish up putting the pound of coffee into the coffee, the cold brew maker. All right, the filter went in first. Yeah. And uh, this is, is this the exact amount of water that you're going to put in there? Yeah, it's about a pound of water inside of the carafe. Okay. There's a line. Okay. So it kind of give you a nice visual. And there's also a hole in the bottom of the top. So, that so it's, it's like, dripping. It's dripping. Okay, as we go, it's dripping. <laughs> so we, you made one yesterday. I did I'm make gonna one move yesterday. this one out of the okay. way, and uh, we'll take a look what that looks like after 24 hours. So this is the finished product. It's nice mm, and saturated. Yes. <laughs> so now we gotta pour some. That looks really dark. Yeah, because of the long brewing process, uh -huh. it makes a nice concentrate. And since we did use a dark roast, it has a nice robust taste. Okay, yeah. go ahead and make some for Alrighty. us. And then I guess when people start adding things to it. It's gonna uh, make it a little bit lighter, obviously, right? Yeah, when you add sugar or any additives, it, it's gonna make it you know, a little bit sweeter and kind of um, dilute the concentrate a little bit more. Okay, yeah. and, and how, much, uh, how much do you want? How's that, good? Yeah, good? that's pretty good. All right, tell us what kind of coffee are we using again? Uh, well, today we're using our Lime Pure Choice French Roast. All right, and that's how you drink coffee in Hawaii. Cheers, thank you for Cheers. having me. Courtney, your cold brew is ono, and this is how we drink coffee in Hawaii. Go to hawaiicoffeecompany.com to get more cool information about Lion Coffee, Pure Choices Coffee, and the Lion Cafe, which is where we're filming this video. They have a great free tour of the roasting facility, and you can check out their highly sought-after coffees.